It's Andrea again with another episode of Beats by Britain. And hopefully now that uh, I've uh, upgraded Logic uh, to version 11 and uh, got my new uh, Mac Mini uh, up and running, I will be posting more content because it's been a long time. Uh, basically what happened was I had an Intel Mac Mini that started becoming inadequate for my needs. And I decided to upgrade to an M2 Mac Mini um, with a 500 gigabyte hard, internal hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM. And of course it came with Ventura on it, the Ventura operating system. And it originally came with Logic version 10, or 10.9 I think. Um, I installed everything from scratch, or reinstalled everything from scratch, with the exception of um, the audio MIDI setup. And I make a long story short, I encountered a problem with some of my existing MIDI hardware not working properly. Uh, and by not working properly, I mean not being detected by uh, the computer. Huh? Um, and I want to show you it's a quick and simple fix. When you upgrade, basically when I upgraded from an Intel Mac to an M2 Mac, I found that audio MIDI setup doesn't quite work the same way that it did on the Intel based Macs. I don't know why, but I'm just sharing my experience. So if you upgrade, don't be afraid to upgrade. If you upgrade, get a new M2 Mac and it's got Ventura on it. This has nothing to do with the operating system. It has to do with the processing chip. And especially if you have old hardware like I do, you might find that there's glitches with the old hardware, not the old MIDI controllers uh, not working the way you expect it to. Easy way to fix it is to go into um, audio MIDI setup. So quick and easy way to find audio MIDI setup is to click on the hotkey up here, spotlight search, and just type audio MIDI setup. You just type audio and it should bring an audio MIDI setup um, by itself. This is part of the operating system. So you hit enter and it'll bring up uh, one of two windows. It'll bring up either bring up your MIDI devices or your audio devices. So this is audio MIDI setup and it shows my audio devices and what originally happened to me was my Scarlett 18 and 20 out uh, interface was not working properly. This is a first generation Scarlett 18 and 20 interface. It's class compliant. It will work in any operating with any operating system, but for some reason it decided to hiccup when I um, uh, hooked it up to my new M2. So all I had to do was just go back in here again to audio devices. You right click on it. That's the, if that's the device that I want to use. It's not, but let's pretend like it is. And then you're going to left click on use this device for sound input. Okay, you might have to do that again if you get any kind of weird error messages about your hardware not working. And this is, remember, we're just looking at audio devices, so we're not looking at MIDI devices yet. Um, in this case, I have an aggregate input device, and I want to see if it's working. So, best way to do that is just click on Configure Speakers. and hit the test button and they work. So those are for my audio inputs, for my audio outputs. I have a multi output device config set up. If I wasn't using a multi output device, I would use I would click on whatever whatever device I was using for audio output, like the Scarlett 18 and 20. In this case, I'm using a multi output device. Okay? And it is configured correctly. I click on configure speakers. And they work. Okay. Sometimes I mean, you notice I didn't even make any changes. 
Sometimes you just have to click on something and configure speakers and to get it working again. It's weird, and it happened to me when I upgraded to an M2. Uh, when I went directly from an Intel processing chip, I think it was an i7, to an M2. Okay, Same equipment and everything, it's just something stopped working, and all you got to do is go into the audio devices window of audio MIDI setup and just check them over. Click on configure speakers, check the way they're configured, okay, and they work, okay. And then same thing with your MIDI devices. If you find, like I have a Korg N1 keyboard that since my Scarlett 18N20, uh, um, that's a MIDI interface, audio MIDI interface, since that hiccuped, the Korg also hiccuped and stopped working just temporarily. Easy way to fix it is just go to window and then click on show MIDI studio and it brings up all your MIDI devices and for whatever reason when I upgraded to the M2 Mac Mini um, it showed my Scarlett 18 and 20 here but it was it was dimmed it was grayed out as if it wasn't even plugged in it was plugged in it was plugged in and properly connected. Only thing I had to do was turn it off and back on again and it worked fine and it's worked fine ever since. And so since it's the Scarlet interface is now working, so is the Korg keyboard. And my TD1 is a drum, uh, my, my Roland uh, TD1 drum machine electronic drums and it's grayed out because it's turned off. I don't have the power turned out of that yet. Easy way to test things to make sure they're working properly is highlight the device, click on the test MIDI setup, and then hit a key. Not going to hear anything because this is just MIDI, it's not audio, but as I strike or press keys on the keyboard, you see how that uh, blue, how that arrow is turning blue? It's because it's working. And same thing, we could just click on the Scarlet and then click on Test MIDI Setup and it's working. Anything plugged into the Scarlet will work fine. And that's it. So again, this is a pretty basic setup, but it's something that you should do as soon as when you when you upgrade to an M2, an M1 or higher. Um, processing chip if you find normally the upgrade should go fine and you shouldn't have any glitches at all just plug in your equipment like you had it on the old computer and it should work just fine um, but if it doesn't if there's a glitch um, then just go into your audio MIDI setup like this it's an audio devices window and a MIDI studio window and just double check maybe turn things off and back on again and double check your configuration and that's it and they work fine so I, not everybody knows about that you should just know about that you want to make audio MIDI set up your friend okay next video is going to cover some of the new uh, functionality specifically the drummer functionality in um, logic 11